Hi. So uh, we also have to apologise for our lack of presentation, which is uh, partly because we were working till the very last minute, which we'll explain, and uh, partly because I don't think any any two people in the project shared the same operating system. Um, so we set ourselves quite an ambitious challenge, which was to build a radar system and see planes uh, for next to no money. Um, and to do this, we utilise something called passive radar, which means that we don't have to have a big tower sending out a signal, we can use other people's. Uh, in this case, TV and radio broadcast towers. And then all we needed to do was listen to those signals and do a lot of incredibly complex maths uh, <laughs> to uh, get some sense of what's up there in the sky. Uh, we did this using um, uh, TV tuner dongles, uh, which you can buy and allow you to watch um, television and listen to the radio on your laptop. Um, and then we had to do a bit of a hack. So this uses just two channels. Um, and we had to uh, play around the circuit boards a bit to make sure that they were um, collecting information at, the same, uh, at exactly the same time so that we could then do the uh, mass work. So this part worked re relatively well and we're happy with this. Um, and our, our end goal here was to put something into virtual reality so you could uh, look up at the sky and instead of seeing with your eyes, you were seeing uh, with radar. Um, so you can see the planes flying over your head. Uh, this part of the project, we also got a bit of a proof of concept for. Uh, so we bought a VR, um, built a VR app that uh, takes information uh, over the socket. Is it still working? Yes. Yeah. Um, now the middle part was the one we struggled with, and this was some of the signal pressure. Unfortunately, no one has published open source code around this, uh, and so we sort of got uh, a little bit lost in the mathematics. Uh, do you someone want to explain these graphs? <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so when the signal is reflected off of an airplane, uh, there are two changes that happens to it. For one thing, it is delayed in time, and another thing is there will be a Doppler shift because the airplane is moving either towards you or away from you generally. So we try to uh, detect copies of the uh, television station that are delayed in time and shifted in frequency, and those are the two axes on the figure that you don't see anymore. Uh, Unfortunately, the reflections were totally swamped out by the direct signal, and we weren't able to cancel the direct signal sufficiently to see the reflections. But um, yeah, so that's what we would have to work on, and we didn't quite finish it. Uh, yeah, sure. uh, so here is uh, the actual site of our two antennas. They kind of need to be at right angles, one to be able to capture the reference signal, and the other to catch all the other radar signals. Um, this is the reference. <laughs> um, and actually, I think the thing we did with um, virtual reality listening on Unix sockets for UT traffic cannot be addressed. But all of our code is on GitHub, so if you are interested in this, check it out. Thank you.